Live from Boston, Massachusetts, it's The Cube at the HP Vertica Big Data Conference 2014. Brought to you by HP. With your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, welcome back. We're here live in Boston, Massachusetts. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. Our next guest is Shilpa Lawande, VP of Engineering, and Eamon O'Neill, Director of Product Management here at HP Vertica. Folks, thanks for uh, coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it. Good Thank morning. Thank you for having us. Um, we get to talk about the product, product management, the product roadmap. Obviously, uh, Colin Mahone had a great keynote. This conference is all about um, your customers, and it's great, a lot of practitioners on. We had the US Postal Service on, which was just earlier. Fantastic interview, I mean, that represents everything in big data, Internet of Things, legacy, you name it. Great customer testimony, you guys have had great success, congratulations. Um, but one of the things that Colin Mahoney said in um, my interview this morning with him was, is that I asked him if uh, HP Vertica's solution was a Ferrari. Um, and I was kind of teasing out the question of, hey, you know, it's a high-end, high performance. He said, yes, it's a Ferrari. That's really the flagship. You guys are known, had been known for high performance. But as you guys have gotten with Haven, as HP starting to broaden their portfolio, what does the product roadmap look like? Because not everyone can drive a Ferrari, and no one wants a Ferrari in their driveway if they're going to be embarrassed and can't drive it. And if friends see that they can't drive it, so they're going to say no just for that reason. So how does a customer engage that just wants to drive with big data? Not necessarily, and then maybe grow into being a, uh, a Ferrari driver. Well, we've made the product much more accessible very recently because we uh, launched a cloud version of it. So for, this is for a business that doesn't necessarily want to maintain their own hardware or set up a software cluster themselves. They can now access it uh, hosted by us. Um, we also shipped uh, an appliance. We, ha we have a few customers now uh, who um, like the fact that they get, uh, they get up and running m much quicker, so they are, they're able to do analytics much faster because they're not spending so much time on setup. So I think it's become more accessible than a Ferrari while it's still as fast as one. Yeah, and and we've always had the community edition, which is uh, you know, uh, free, for, uh, free for you to use uh, for unlimited amount of time, one terabyte on three nodes. Um, that also is, uh, you know, uh, we've, we have a big focus on community, so on building out the community of Vertica. So it's a Ferrari that, you know, anybody can test drive, and it's a Ferrari that... It's uh, funny, I, I, mean, I'm, I mean, I brought that up, I kind of baited him on that question, but the reality is looking at your wins and successes in the marketplace, it has been really high performance data environments. And that's not going to be the, the, the one-off anymore, it's going to be the rule pretty quickly. As people start realizing they can get their data pretty quickly, um, that's going to be a requirement. So I kind of wanted to get that up, but not everyone's ready for the Ferrari. And I was talking to someone last night uh, when I was walking back from Legal Seafood, and he's here, huge data warehouse, huge enterprise, um, and he's here to learn about Columnar Store and, and what you guys have, but he's coming from a legacy data warehouse environment. What's your product do for him? He's new to the Vertica, so how does he engage, and how does he view your product? So, um, so the way to look at Vertica is that the legacy products for data warehousing, they basically stop at that. They stop at the data warehouse use case, uh, but now with all of the machine data that is, that is being generated every day uh, and the volumes that are growing and the diversity of data, those products don't handle that. Vertica is probably the only product in the market that can handle that, you know, that entire gamut from the traditional business EDW type of use case all the way to uh, the big data type of use cases. And so I think that's where uh, we're seeing a lot of traction in these uh, really large data sizes uh, in enterprises who are looking to go from just the EDW to the, um, to the broad platform. Uh, Amy, how about integration? How does someone integrate Vertica? Let's just say they say, oh, I love, I love the vibe, love the product, love mm -hmm. the roadmap. How does someone get involved with the product? What's the entry point? Well, I think what differentiates us is uh, the, the huge number of certified partners. Uh, most of them are here, but uh, from ETL to BI, um, there are a lot of uh, there, there are a lot of uh, products out there that uh, showcase the fact that they run well on Vertica, and so um, th there's. In addition, though, there are plenty of APIs that are on uh, our community, where uh, developers are very active in supporting each other, um, and and uh, our developers answer the questions uh, live, but also many of the developers from our customers do. So I think that's one of the best ways to integrate is to get involved with the Vertica community. 
Got a great tweet from someone out in, um, from another interview just said, um, I asked some examples of how you know, people are pushing things, not forcing things into relational database, but looking at the data perspective. I said, give some examples in this one uh, person, Terry, said, uh, a bank could not load uh, E to E transactions fast enough in Hadoop, use Vertica as stupid fast ETL. Now they can identify profitable customers and transactions. What does he mean by that? Well, upstairs right now, the HPIT is giving a, a presentation about just that. They're showing you how you can analyze your sales pipeline. Um, and they're using Vertica to examine, for example, how often salesperson uh, changes the predicted close date, changes the size of the deal. And so they're showing people um, how to make, uh, you, you know, not, not be surprised at the end of the quarter and really understand the future of their business. So we've got a question here from the uh, folks in here on CrowdChat. Which is better for getting things done? A Ferrari or a pickup truck? Guess it depends on what done means. I guess it's not a question, it's more of a statement kind of. So engineering wise, that kind of implies the road exam. What road are you on? Because the road handle the car, pickup truck for loading things. Uh, what is a pickup truck in the big data world? If, if, if Vertica's a Ferrari, what's the pickup truck? So um, we do see this, you know, people moving a lot of data. First of all, you've got to store, store the data. And so I think uh, we see HDFS or the Hadoop file system becoming sort of that place where people you know, collect all the data. Uh, and then getting the value out of that data is where I think Vertica shines. So whether you're just exploring that data, um, Vertica's you know, broad SQL capabilities, as well as our, our, um, our performance, uh, helps you sort of get value out of the data to understand what's in it. Uh, and then when you're ready to put that data in production uh, is when you um, use the high performance, the Ferrari um, part of Vertica, right? So, so Vertica, I think, has these... Ha is Hadoop is able the dump to, truck? Is it the pickup truck? It's certainly the, the place where, pe where people start. <laughs> so <laughs> it's certainly where people start. I but think. John, I'll, I'll actually ex finally exhaust this car and truck metaphor to answer your question about the data warehouse. So we have a new feature that came out a couple of weeks ago that we call the zipper truck feature because... Um, the, the biggest challenge for these people with enterprise data warehouses is how do you keep all the traffic in different lanes? Because they uh, have a lot of demands from them from people who want to run um, batch reports to do payroll or comp plans, and then executives who want immediate response on their ad hoc queries on their, say, Tableau or ClickView dashboard. And these it, typically these compete and fight with each other because uh, the same queries, these different queries are going against the enterprise warehouse. Um, so we have, uh, for a couple of years now, we've had uh, a, a workload management feature in Vertica where we can put these different kinds of workloads in different traffic lanes so that they don't step on each other. Um, and we took it further in this last release where we can dynamically change the lanes. So you've probably seen these zipper trucks early in the morning when you're commuting that pick up the barrier and, and create four lanes inbound to the city uh, one time a day and then four lanes outbound at another time a day. So that's the feature we did. Uh, we can now dynamically adjust uh, the resource pools for different workloads depending on the time of day or the business priority. So I got to ask the, the roadmap question. How do you guys, what's on the roadmap for you guys? Because obviously you mentioned Tableau, visualization. Doesn't, you guys are a database, right? At the end of the day, there's a big database. Now you got Haven. As these things come together, where do you guys stop and other people pick off? Because we have saw our news around Hortonworks as a new partner for HP. You have a relationship with MapR. Tableau's here, all your customers are here. So on the roadmap, where is the innovation going to stay core on the engineering side, product positioning side, and where do you leave off and others pick up? Um, so, so certainly that, that Hadoop ecosystem is something that we are uh, trying to become a part of more and more um, because our customers are using it that way. And so, you know, the H in Haven is, is, is Hadoop. So uh, where what we are going to continue to innovate on and, uh, and expand on is providing that Hadoop user base ability to do advanced analytics, right? So uh, trying to leverage that data through the SQL paradigm and trying to get uh, value out of that data. Uh, we are going to rely on the Hadoop distributions to really provide the core of Hadoop itself, right? So we, we are not intending to create our own Hadoop distribution. We will try to integrate with these. So, you know, we've been working with MapR for a while, uh, working with Hortonworks on things like Yarn integration, so Vertica plays seamlessly with the other components of the Hadoop ecosystem. Um, same thing with, uh, with the BI vendors. So uh, we're leveraging, you know, um, uh, Logi Analytics, Tableau, MicroStrategy. We have a lot of, of partners who help us with the visualizations in how you consume the data that Vertica now um, enables you to get at really fast. So, 
that's how we see it. Any comments on that too? Yeah, what we're going to focus on is scale. So we've gotten into some peripheral technologies recently, but we focused on handling the massive amounts of data. For example, um, uh, we, we uh, have started to do some text and, uh, and sentiment uh, analysis of less structured data. Um, but we still pull in autonomy libraries uh, to actually break open that data and find the structure in it. But then we feed it into Vertica to do um, analysis of massive amounts of data. Um, so you'll see that again and again when we um, uh, partner with, uh, you know, when we get into peripheral technologies, we're going to partner with various people to understand the formats, but then once we extract data from those, we're going to be the scale answer. I got to ask you a product question, Eamon, because this, is, this has been debated. Certainly, Silicon Valley has been talked about. Product managers make the best CEO of startups, and, and product managers are a tough position, because you're always saying no on one hand, mm -hmm. and you also got to incent people to get things done on time. So you got to be kind of, you know, uh, kind of play both roles, like a helicopter, get high level, get low level. Um, what do you say no to a lot right now? Because big data is one of those markets where there's so much demand. I want this feature, and you're simply smiling. I can see just what your engineering team like. No more, we need to hire more engineers. There's so much demand. And where do you, what are you saying no to right now in the, in the product roadmap, and, and where are you guys focusing on? Because that's really, I mean, everyone wants this bell and whistle in the, in the software, um, so it seems to be unlimited amount of features that could be in products. So how do you handle that product question of the, of the no? What's the no? Well, I, um, I, am a, I am blessed in that we have... Uh, oh, the ship will say no. <laughs> she does. <laughs> but <laughs> what makes it easier for me is the tight integration that we have with other parts of HP software, like uh, ArcSight, OperaSight Analytics, and Autonomy. Because when I'm asked to add bells and whistles to, say, our tech searching, or to our interface for um, you know, showing how queries are happening, I don't have to put those into Vertica necessarily because um, I, can, uh, I can leverage how, they're, how that they exist in autonomy and ops analytics and in our security product. So as these, as these four or five uh, HP software assets come tighter together, it actually makes it easier for me to concentrate on the core. So I'm going to ask the, the question I asked uh, Jeff Kelly. Um, it's a Hadoop world. I want you guys both to answer if you can't hit on the same answer. If it's the same answer, mm -hmm. then you don't need to answer. Uh, it's a Hadoop world. How does Vertica fit into it? Um, so interestingly enough, the world of Hadoop and databases seems to be sort of converging uh, quite a bit right now. Um, the Hadoop world started out with MapReduce, and you know I think as everybody has come to the conclusion that MapReduce is uh, is pretty much dead, um, you know it's it's on its way out for sure. And the Hadoop world is moving now into a SQL world, right? And so this is where I think um, Vertica has a lot to offer uh, because one, we have a very mature SQL uh, engine, and over the course of working with so many customers, we've sort of grown up with the uh, with the big data community uh, in terms of expanding the nature of our of our product. You know, when I first started with Vertica. It'll be almost 10 years now. Um, a terabyte felt big to us, you know, to, to do with the SQL analytic database doing a terabyte. We were very excited when we got our first benchmark on a terabyte. Uh, but now a petabyte doesn't feel very big to us. So I think that's where all of the learnings that Vertica has over the past years of what it, what it takes uh, to do SQL on large data sets, that's what we have to offer to the Hadoop community. And your, and your thesis there is MapReduce and the other tools are too complex they're too program. complex, uh, and I think they're limiting. Um, so SQL, I think, uh, is a language that is, people realize that there is a lot of skill set out there, uh, that people already know how to use it. Um, and then it's, it's very simple to express a lot of things in it. Right? So it's not, it's not something that can do everything, uh, but it can do a whole lot of, a lot of things very easily. And so if you can figure out the technology under the covers to make SQL be the language and, and leverage the whole ecosystem that's already built around SQL, uh, then you can get a lot more out of your data lake, basically. Amen. I think it's an HDFS world. When I ask customers uh, over the last couple of days why they love Hadoop, the part of the stack that they love is HDFS. And so what Vertica can do for you is, we uh, in our recent release a couple of weeks ago, um, we changed our storage layer so that you now you can plug in HDFS to be your storage layer. Uh, this means you can access so much more data with Vertica. Um, you know, previously there was maybe uh, data that you didn't think was very valuable, you didn't query it very often, and you didn't want to put it into a database because you thought that was going to be expensive or take you time to structure it. Um, 
now you don't have to trade off because we can query everything that's in your data lake because HDFS is our storage layer. So true or false, the future is about thinking about the data, not the database. Is that, do you see that as what customers should be thinking about, the data itself versus the database they're storing it in? Or is, still, is it still a database decision then the data? And what comes first, thinking about the data or thinking about the database? I think, oh sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, if you don't have to think about the database, just pick Vertica. So <laughs> yes, so it is all about the data. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> I think the database is still important because what people loved about SQL is that it abstracts uh, their business questions from the way it's physically stored. And that's what a database does for you and uh, you don't have to um, care so much about the details of the data's location. So final question, we're getting, we're getting cut on time here. Amy, I want you to talk about the product perspective and uh, Shilpa, talk about the engineering perspective. And the question is, give, looking at where Vertica is today inside, inside of HP, HP software, what you guys have done with Haven and across the portfolio, explain to the customers in your own words out there, people watching, um, what's the update, what is it all about? What is the product all about and what's the technology all about, Haven and all the, the big data act activities? I think it's about being able to consume any kinds of data, so we'll take any format. Um, also, don't throw any data away. Uh, uh, you, can, you can bring many, many petabytes now, and uh, um, also, it's no longer about just uh, BI. We've, um, with the new ways of deploying Vertica, we've gotten it out into the line of businesses, so it's not just for the specialists anymore. Uh, it's become more accessible to a lot more people in your enterprise. Shilpa, from a technology perspective, what's it all about? So, uh, so HP has this unique combination of assets. So there's Vertica, of course, uh, but there's autonomy, which allows you to do you know, human data, get value out of that. Um, we have some leading enterprise security products, and, and, uh, and, and Hadoop, of course. And um, Haven is really all about putting those assets uh, together and building an ecosystem around them. Uh, that enables people to use, uh, you know, use these assets to really solve problems. Uh, ultimately, you know, HP's mission is to make things matter, make it matter, right? So, uh, so we believe that with with this Haven suite of products, um, you can actually make a difference to uh, to your business, to lives, and so on. As you heard today, uh, the Conservation International Project. That's a that's a great example of what you can do by putting some of these technology pieces. Um, and making it reliable too, making it have a reliable And making it reliable, making, making, it, uh, making it available in different form factors, so making it available through the cloud, through, through appliances, different, different ways to consume that data. Um, but it is really all, all about um, you know, trying to get the most value out of all your data, uh, not just a structured uh, or unstructured. I've been called the big data, data fanboy because I love anything to do with big data, but I think the conservation example this morning shows the value uh, across the entire world, industries from nonprofit yeah. to for-profit, how transformative data can be. Um, the engineering and product perspective here at Vertica, this is theCUBE at HP Vertica's uh, Big Data Conference live in Boston. This is theCUBE, we'll be right back with our next guest after the short break. Thank you. Thank you.